Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Sugarbeat here, and today we've got something special. In the comments under a previous video, someone asked me to check out how the brand new Dragon Ball Sparking Zero runs on the Samsung S25 Ultra using the GameHub emulator. You asked, I delivered. So let's see how it turned out. Right now I'll show you exactly how I managed to get this game running and which emulator settings I used. Alright, first things first, I needed to get the game itself. I found a portable version of Sparking Zero, which by the way is pretty hefty, a full 30 gigabytes. I downloaded it quickly using a torrent, straight onto the phone. In this video, I won't be showing the detailed steps for installing and setting up the Game Hub emulator itself. If you're interested in how to do that step by step, I already have a separate tutorial for it. I'll leave the link in the description below and pin it in the comments. Definitely check that out. Go into the library, select the PC Games section, hit Add and find the .exe file for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero in the folder where you downloaded it. A cool feature of GameHub is that when you add a game for the first time, it figures out what's needed and automatically downloads and installs all the necessary components and modules to run it. Now, let's go to the games page in GameHub and head into the settings. There are a couple of important things here for our S25 Ultra. First, make sure that in the command line field you have dash DX11 typed in. This will help the game run using DirectX 11. Next, switch over to the compatibility tab. Right here, set the parameters exactly like I have them. I tweaked these settings specifically for the S25 Ultra and they've worked out the best. Also, don't forget to double check that all the necessary components are installed compare it with my screen. Everything should look the same. If it's all set, let's try launching the game. Hit play. If the game doesn't launch on the first try, don't panic, double check all the settings again. If you still have issues, drop a comment below and we'll try to figure it out together. As you can see, the game launched. Now I'll quickly jump into the in-game settings and set the graphics to the minimum values. And look at the FPS counter. We're consistently getting over 30 frames per second, which is really impressive for emulating such a new game on a phone. Of course, our S25 Ultra is capable of running the game on higher graphic settings too. The visuals get significantly bigger. But there's a catch at higher settings, the phone starts to heat up noticeably. And when the temperature rises, the safety system throttles the processor's clock speed to prevent overheating. Because of that, the FPS starts to drop. So for stable gameplay, I'd recommend sticking to minimum or medium settings. So that's the test folks. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero on the S25 Ultra via GameHub. It's real. You can play it and it's impressive. I hope this video was useful for you and answered your questions. If you liked it, don't forget to hit that like button below this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on new tests, reviews and experiments in the world of mobile gaming and emulation. Thanks for watching. This was Sugar Beat. See you in the next video. Bye.